What's the difference between an MRA and an MRI? Well, we're talking about x-rays now, and that's a very good question because x-rays are getting better and better to tell us what's going on inside the body. Normally, we used to have just a regular x-ray, and it would give us a lot of good information. Then we developed CAT scans that will be able to divide the body up into slices. And then we get to MRI. Now, the MRI is magnetic resonance imaging. And it outlines what we call soft tissues. So it will look at the spinal column and tell us where there is damage there. It will look at the brain and tell us what the tissues of the brain are doing. It will look at the knee and actually tell us what the cartilage and the ligaments in the knees are doing and what kind of damage is there. So an MRI walks through the tissues. Now, newer now is an MRA. Very, very important. And what beautiful information it gives us. That's called magnetic resonance and geography. That means it outlines just the blood vessels. So if we want to know what the blood vessels are looking like in the head, we can get an MRA. It will tell us if the vessels are narrowed from hardening of the arteries. It'll tell us if there are aneurysms in the blood vessel. And not only in the brain does it outline beautifully the blood vessels in the brain, but the blood vessels in the rest of the body can be outlined. So more and more, we're being able to tell with x-ray what's going on with blood vessels and with soft tissue, and it can tell the doctor what kind of surgery is needed, what kind of medications are needed. We understand better what is going on in that body. So MRI measures the tissues, MRI, MRA measures the blood vessels.